That's why I'm attracted to the promise of a new Jedi Order, and I'm attracted to the idea of immersing myself in a Jedi Academy with a powerful Jedi Master. Whoa! Whoa! Really interesting Star Wars news continues to roll out here. What just happened today? Daisy Ridley confirms that there is no script for her upcoming movie, uh, whatever it's called. And they get into that, too, as well in this interview where she's asked by Collider several details about the upcoming film. And there's been a lot of speculation about this movie. You know, they, they brought Daisy Ridley out at Star Wars Celebration in 2023. It's almost been a year now. Next month, it's a year. We're, we're, we're three weeks out for the one-year uh, mark since they announced her movie. Her movie was going to be the first of the three movies that they announced. Well, we know that their plans have all changed. They hit the panic button. They bring in Jon Favreau to make a Mandalorian movie, The Mandalorian and Grogu, which we reported on that uh, recently as well. And... They're panicking 100%. A year later, Daisy Ridley doesn't know anything else about the movie at all. There still is no script. Now, we do know that recently the, it hit the news that they are currently looking to cast three main characters for the movie. And apparently, according to the scoop, uh, two of those three characters are going to be Ray's apprentices. Okay, so they're breaking the the rule of Star Wars there, the... The, the master and apprentice, you know, because they're going to give her two apprentices because this is Ray Skywalker and she does what she wants to do because she's a powerful woman. And uh, the third uh, character is apparently going to be Angela Bassett. That's the rumor that she's going to be the big bad in the film. I don't know about you, but when I see Angela Bassett, I certainly think Star Wars Sith Lord without question. I mean, she is just scary, right? Um, I like to make men uncomfortable. I enjoy <laughs> making men uncomfortable. And that is called sarcasm. So now we move over to what is happening with her movie exactly. Uh, and this is coming from Collider. It says, by now, rumors have circulated far and wide among Star Wars fans regarding the plot of Daisy Ridley's upcoming return to Star Wars, which will see her reprise her role as Rey 15 years after the end of Rise of Skywalker. Detailed as those rumors might have been, it seems they are just that, rumors. During a conversation at SXSW promoting her new film, Magpie, Ridley was asked by Collider whether it was true that her new film was going to be called New Jedi Order, to which Daisy Ridley replied, I don't know. I mean, I think so. From the announcement, I don't think that's changed. And while we do know she knows what to expect in terms of the plot. She added that she has yet to actually read the script saying, I know a script is happening and I'm going to be reading it imminently, which is very exciting. Her excitement echoes similar sentiments from director Charmin Obey Chinoy. You know, the one, the one that said that she likes to make men uncomfortable. The one that she said, it's 2024. It's about time that a female got to lead a Star Wars story. Obey Chinoy said, I'm very thrilled about the project because I think what we're about to create is something very special. Excitement for the project, according to Collider, has only been mounting since it was announced at Star Wars Celebration Europe last spring. So when exactly can we get to see it? Well, Collider, you definitely got it wrong. Excitement is not mounting. Uh, I don't know what the opposite of excitement is or or melting is but uh no nobody is really excited about this film if they make this film it's a terrible terrible idea if they were excited about this film as you think you you portray here then it would be the next movie to basically get star wars going back in the right direction but this movie is not going to do that and with the recent news that the mandalorian season four is not going to happen that they're going right to a movie that's this is just terrible. Star Wars continues to just get flushed down the toilet further and further down.
And uh, man, things are not looking good. Um, while there is currently no release date for the movie, Ridley went on to tell Collider that she's hoping to step in front of the camera as the iconic, no, she's not, Jedi sooner rather than later. When asked whether it was true the movie is supposed to film this year, Daisy Ridley said, I think it could be this year. It could be, but I'm not sure. I think, to be honest, the writer strike has obviously delayed quite a lot of things, so the intention was later this year. Hopefully it will be. Otherwise, top of next year, I would imagine. So you were telling me that you were going to take a job where you're going to have to be gone for months and months and months, and you have no idea if it's even going to happen this year? That's not how this works. She would know when they are set to begin filming, at least have some type of rough estimate. So the fact that she can't even say that, um, you know, does that offer a little bit of insight to this movie might not even be happening, ladies and gentlemen. And I certainly think that, you know, are they planning it? Sure they are, because that's what Disney does. And they plan an awful lot of projects that never come to fruition, get shelved, and it just collects dust and never happens. This movie very well could be one of those because everything they've come out with recently since The Mandalorian Season 2, everything has just been atrocious. Losing money, not good, going the wrong way, fans leaving, Disney Plus subscribers hitting the exit, cancellation button on the program. People are just sick of it and done with it because Star Wars no longer is what it used to be. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think the Daisy Ridley Star Wars movie is actually going to happen? What do you think about the rumor that Angela Bassett will be the big bad? She's going to have two apprentices because I guess she could do that. Um, and do you think this script, having not been being written, uh, is an indication that the movie might not actually happen? And what are your thoughts about Charmaine Obey Chinoy? helming this project. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here. We are UR Echo Base Network. I will see you guys on the next one.